Our next film is Three Amigos, a Western comedy with a Mexican flavor. And when the film started, I was laughing because the three stars, Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short from Saturday Night Live, looked very funny in their flamboyant black costumes with silver braid and red ties and cummerbunds. And they are very funny as they sing the film's opening song, the credo of the Three Amigos. But then the movie starts, and it becomes boring very quickly. The three guys play three silent movie actors starring in Westerns as a trio known as the Three Amigos. And through a series of silly circumstances, they get involved in fighting bad guys in Mexico for real. And, of course, they're total pansies, totally unprepared for life in the real West. The film does work when it parodies the fake backdrops of the old Technicolor Westerns, as in this hilarious campfire song. All of the doggies are in the corral. All of your work is done. Just close your eyes and dream, little pal. Dream of someone. But the movie goes steadily downhill when the battle lines are drawn, even though the three amigos think they are just putting on a show for the bad guys. It's a pleasure working with you. Well, you dirty-eating piece of slime, you scum-sucking pig, you son of a motherless goat. Who are you? Wherever there is injustice, you will find us. Wherever there is suffering, we'll be there. Tell us we will die like dogs. What? Tell us we will die like dogs. You will die like dogs. No, we will not die like dogs. We will fight like lions, because we are the Free Amigos! <laughs> You know, I really didn't come to a Steve Martin or Chevy Chase movie to see him run around in desert. Uh, you know, I could watch old reruns of uh, the Cisco Kid or something. <laughs> Aside from amusing scenes, all involving music, and there's one great one involving a music or singing bush in the <laughs> desert. That was very cute. Almost everything else in this movie is a total loss as the jokes get repetitive and we simply laugh at those wonderful costumes. I was very disappointed in Three Amigos. Its script doesn't take many chances with a cast that previously, especially Steve Martin, has made us laugh at some very wild and crazy material. I was very, very disappointed, too. This is not a good movie. The Randy Newman songs are funny. Randy Newman wrote them, All and the he performs as the singing bush. Yeah. Martin Short, who was so Brilliant. weird all last year on Saturday Night Live, everything he did was funny. This time they seem to have him in a straitjacket, mm -hmm. maybe because his movie. wild comedy doesn't go along with the real laid-back style of Steve Martin. And as for Chevy Chase, he's so laid-back that occasionally he only seems to be visiting as a, you know, visiting. I I had the, the same, set today, yeah. just looking around. I had the same reaction. When I saw them riding up there in, in the beginning, mm -hmm. I, I almost made a decision about the movie. Uh, Chase looks dead. Martin looks joyful. and is, he's, he's, he's in character. He's got nothing to do in the movie. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Very little to do. And Short just seems almost like delighted to finally be in a movie yeah. and, has, and is given nothing to do. Yeah, so that they didn't really... Have a script. And so maybe what they thought they were doing was satirizing this genre. And the problem Of course is they were. Nobody now alive under the age of 25 remembers the movies they're satirizing. Well, even if they had done that, they should have had more scenes like that Technicolor scene yeah. with, the, uh -huh. with the bush. I would have done the whole thing as a fake stage thing. Well, I mean, that could have been funny. You mentioned the Cisco kid to today's yeah. teenagers. He's as old as Shakespeare, you know?